In this video we're going to be looking at backing up your data on your Linux PC uh, and the utility we're going to be using is called Deja Dupe. Now if it's not installed by default with your distro then what I suggest you do is you go to your software center so in my case I'm going to go down here and look in my add remove software window then I'm going to type in the string Deja Dupe. Okay, and then hit the find key. Okay, so if you're not using Fedora, the interface may look slightly different, but the operation will be similar. So here we go, we've got the application already installed. If you didn't have it installed, um, it wouldn't have a tick here, and all you need to do is click down on this apply button, enter the root password, and um, approve the installation. So as we've got it installed, all we need to do is kick it off. So again, I'm just going to go back to my activity center and find it down here. Again, I can type in the string Deja, if I could type it, Deja Dupe, and here's the icon. I just click on that to start it up. As you can see, it's a fairly simple interface here. So only two main buttons, Backup and Restore. But before we start backing up, what we need to do is actually define the files that we want to save. So we do that by clicking on the edit menu here and choosing preferences, there is only one option. So here we go, first thing, when this dialog displays is there are three tabs here. The first is the storage, this is where you want your backup to be put. Unfortunately, Deja Dupe doesn't allow you to write directly to CD or DVD, um, but we can get around that by using a two-stage process and writing to disk, and then using a utility such as Bracero to write those files to CD. Um, alternatively, you can write to one of the other disks in your machine, or my personal preference is to plug in an external uh, USB drive and just back it up to there. So at the moment I'm just going to back this up to a local folder and I'm just going to put it in my home directory. So if I just go down here and click on Fred B directory and then click OK, you can see that the files will be saved to my home directory here. So that's defined where we want the backup files to be created. Next thing we need to do is to define the files that we actually want to be saved. So the default is everything in my home folder, but I'm going to say I don't want that. Uh, I'm just going to remove that. And I'm going to add in the directory that I do want to back up. So that brings me across to our um, terminal window here, our command line. So what I've done here is, just to speed things up, is I've created a little directory here called backup test one and if we just have a look in that directory we've just got a single text file so if I more that file all it's got is some simple text in it to this restore OK so what we're going to do is to back up that directory and that file within it so I'm going to click on the add button here I'm going to navigate down to my home directory here and I'm going to select the directory here that I want to back up and click on open. Now if you want to select more than one directory that's not a problem we just click on the add button again and we can select a different directory this time. However for the purposes of this demo I'm just going to back up the single directory here. Um, what I can also do in this third tab is to schedule a backup so I can get Deja Dupe to back up my PC weekly, daily, every hour etc. Okay, so I don't want to do that, I'm just going to do a one-off shot here. So I've now configured what files I want backed up and where I want them backed up to. I just click on the close button here. So I'm just going to minimize this window. Now to start the backup all I need to do is click on the backup button. Yeah, okay, so it gives me a summary of what it's going to do here. So it's going to back up um, to my home directory, Fred B. It's not going to be encrypted and I am going to back up the directory backup test one. Um, you can also actually put exceptions in here. So you can back up, for instance, the whole home directory except for certain subdirectories. So I'm okay with that. I want to back it all up. So I just click on the backup button. Okay, so Deja Dupe goes away, checks the disks and creates the backup. 
obviously it'll take a lot longer if you've got a lot more data to back up so hopefully if I go back here we will now see in my home directory these duplicity files okay now in the background Deja dupe uses a set of libraries called duplicity and that's where the dupe part of the Deja dupe comes from so the, the output files are actually called duplicity now duplicity is a fully featured package and um, it can do an awful lot more than um, the Deja dupe front end um, allows you to do here so uh, as you can see it's made a full backup here of this folder okay so with those backup files already created what we need to do now is test that um, the backup really has worked so let's do something like um, delete our folder now okay so we've got our folder here um, where is it backup test one okay it's all gone now so back up as you can see it's not there no longer there okay so normally having deleted the directory that you wanted that would be a major disaster but luckily we have our backup that we created earlier on so what we do is we go back into Deja Dupe and this time we're going to click on the restore button as you can see when we come into this window um, it gives you a list of the valid backups that are available in our case we only have the one created today so that's okay I'm going to leave that selected and I'm going to click on the forward button okay now we have a choice to restore the files to their original locations or to restore them to a different folder this can be useful if for instance you have overwritten one or two of the files and you want to restore part of those so you restore it you can restore it to a different folder and then copy in the change files that you want uh, in this case I just want to restore it to its original location so all I need to do is click on the forward button okay again we get a summary of what the restore is going to do um, the backup is in the Fred B directory um, it's not encrypted this was the date it was created on and we're going to restore to its original location so as I'm happy with that I can just click on the restore button okay the restore begins and indeed completes obviously it'll take a lot longer for that for a proper backup so now if we check our directory is now back as you can see with our file so here's our backup one test directory and if I do a more there is our file contents and that's really all there is to using Deja Dupe. It's a very intuitive utility. It just allows you to back up your files and restore them with a minimum of fuss.